Through 15 international editions of Greatest Brands and Leaders, around 120 of the finest brands in Asia, the Middle East and Africa and their leaders have been recognized for their achievements in every edition. Under the umbrella of Asia One magazine and URS Media, these awards have been featured on numerous platforms and now we count as one of them. and welcome to the second episode of Greatest Brands and Leaders 2020 to 2021, Asia, Middle East and Africa. I am Nolutandum Tondi. This series will acknowledge the inspiring success stories of eminent brands and leaders from across the globe. Let me introduce the man behind this vision and mission of the Greatest Brands and Leaders Awards, Rajat Raj Shukal, Global Head and Principal Partner at URS Media Consulting and Asia One Magazine. Round of applause for Dubai first for how in the post-COVID times maybe this is the first nation to overcome the COVID-19 to this level that they are hosting the world's biggest expo as the Dubai Expo and I also urge all of you to visit the expo. You know, we've been holding this summit from 2014 onwards in Dubai every year and we also hold it in Mumbai, Singapore and Thailand and it's all about all of you as leaders participating with us, getting featured with us. And I'm also pleased to tell you the Asia One magazine now is running a television series which goes out to 79 countries and 39 million audiences, uh, which is called the greatest brands and leaders, Asia, Middle East and Africa. You know, and you would think of the world's greatest brands and leaders, subconsciously, you would start thinking of the American and the European brands. Nobody was talking about the Asian brands. And you see, that Asia, Middle East, Africa even, is the biggest consumer market for all brands across the world. So that's the vision, that's the passion that we would like this evening to begin with and uh, let the awards begin. Thank you Rajat Raj Shukal for that message. Over the years, Greatest Brands and Leaders has set a benchmark in recognizing the grit and determination of the doings of the industry. Without any further ado, let's meet the people who boast a presence on the Greatest Brands and Leaders 2020 to 2021 Asia, Middle East, Africa list. The first category, the recipient in the category of Asia One Global African of the Year 2020 to 2021 is Mr. Alfred Baku, Executive Vice President and Head of Goldfields West Africa. Goldfields is a globally diversified gold producer with nine operating mines in Australia, Peru, South Africa and West Africa, as well as one project in Chile. The company is listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange. Alfred Baku, the Executive Vice President and Head of Goldfields West Africa, was appointed in 2014 to oversee the company's gold mines in the western region of Ghana. A mining engineer with over two decades of experience, he is the first Vice President of the Ghana Chamber of Mines. Joining the company in 2002, he has mostly held senior positions, including General Manager of Tarkwa and Damang Mines. Under his leadership, GSWA continues to set high standards in operational excellence, safety, environmental stewardship and local enterprise. If we cannot mine safely, we will not mine. This is a clear expression of our responsibility as a mining company, which simply underpins everything that GoFuls does. It is not only a promise to our stakeholders, but a personal promise for what I stand for and for what our employees have committed to. Safety is our number one value, and I believe in leading the way, using innovation and technology, so our teams their families and communities work and live in a safe environment. Our operations in, are in 19 local communities and the success of our business is dependent on our relationship with several key external and internal stakeholders who determine our regularly and social licenses to operate. Protecting our reputation and our licenses to operate is priority. Our strategy is to integrate sustainable development principles into strategy, business planning, 
management systems, and decision-making processes to maintain our licenses to operate and leave a positive legacy. That is the world of gold fields, unlocking the value of gold in an ethical way to benefit all stakeholders. The next in line is the category called Global African of the Year 2020 to 2021. And the title was given to Somalia Zubeu, President and Chief Executive Officer of Africa Finance Corporation. Africa Finance Corporation is a pan-African investment grade multilateral finance institution focused on providing solutions to Africa's infrastructure deficits and challenging business environment by developing and financing infrastructure, natural resources and industrial assets which enhance productivity and economic growth of African states. Somalia Zubari joined the African Finance Corporation as its President and Chief Executive Officer in 2018. He has led finance transactions of over $3 billion covering greenfield project finance facilities, acquisitions, corporate transformation initiatives, privatization and equity capital market transactions. Mr. Zuberu has had an unmatched hold and understanding of Africa's economic status. He has an in-depth understanding of how by utilizing natural resources and minimizing energy imports, the economy can be benefited. We are very honored to receive this award. Uh, this award is important for the continued collaboration between Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. We think that such a recognition of Africans on the work that we're doing on the continent provides a bridge for continued collaboration with the region. Um, on behalf of the African Finance Corporation, I'm very pleased and honored to receive this award as a recognition of the work that we're doing on the continent. Our mandate is mainly to provide solutions to Africa's infrastructure deficit and challenging operating environment by developing, financing, infrastructure, natural resource and industrial assets that will enhance the productivity and economic growth of African states. Uh, our focus is mainly on energy, transport and logistics, heavy industries, telecoms, technology and natural resources. So our participation in mobilizing capital is very urgent now and um, we will continue on the good work that we've done. First, helping communities to address the health challenge um, and then providing them the liquidity and support to make the necessary investments required for infrastructure. We look forward to further collaboration with the Middle East and Asia uh, and this award for us, you know, builds on this collaboration. The next in line is the category called Women Empowerment Principal Leadership Awards Asia ME Africa 2020 to 2021. And the honor goes to Ms. Manhira Kapu, Chairman and Managing Director of Sona Manhira Private Limited. Sona Manhira Private Limited, formerly known as Manhira Marketing Private Limited, established in 2012, manufactures various aftermarket parts for passenger vehicles. Formed by Manhira Kapoor, the daughter of the legendary late Dr. Surinder Kapoor, the founder and chairman of the Sona Group of Companies, is a passionate businesswoman and go-getter. She guides all the flagships of companies to the next level of growth, and her vision in administration and leadership has enhanced the company's overall performance. Manhira Kapoor is a second-generation entrepreneur, and under her guidance, the group has successfully achieved new milestones. As a woman leader in the automobile industry, she has already proven the success of new perspectives and a strong value system that she has brought along. We're a manufacturing and trading automotive aftermarket company. We specialize in manufacturing of suspension arms and we trade in a lot more parts for passenger vehicles. I actually started my journey with Sona Mandira in 2020, just before the pandemic. And uh, we've worked really hard to through the pandemic and we've done a lot of learning and we've done come a long way since the pandemic started. Before this, I was actually in fashion. I used to bring in brands into India. I've worked in many fashion weeks. I have um, created a lot of brands. And so I think working in the automotive industry, growing up with Dr. Surinder Kapoor, my father, knowing the way the industry ran, I guess learning from him unknowingly that I was learning, I learned a lot. 
and uh, I'm, I'm actually very, very comfortable in this space more than I was in fashion. My vision for Sona Mandira Private Limited is to be the number one aftermarket player on a global scale. Uh, we are working towards doing this by upping export, by putting India on the map, trying to get everything made from India, make in India is what we are working towards. Um, my role in this is, well, when I came in, I was confused about my role because I didn't know exactly where I need to go. But I think as a, as a managing director, as a, a chairman of this company, I need to motivate my team. I need to build a strong team. I need to motivate my team. I need to bring in more ideas. I need to look at what I can bring out of this country which is missing and um, you know put it out there and, and get creative and get my team to start thinking out of the box. We'll move directly on to the next category, which is Global Leader of the Year Award for 2020 to 2021. The honor goes to Prasad Guntupali, co-founder and executive deputy chairman of ATRA. Prasad Guntupali is the co-founder and executive deputy chairman of ATRA, a reputable technology services provider in the payments domain. From working part-time and putting himself through college to becoming a first-generation entrepreneur at the age of 42, Prasad is truly a self-made professional who soared above his humble roots with grit and determination. A leader with a never-say-die attitude, he evolved Atra from an Australian-based consulting firm into a global company with a presence in 13 countries, close to 2,500 employees and a revenue of $75 million. Winning the Global Leader of the Year Award for 2020 to 2021 is one of the many accolades Prasad has received over the years. The idea was to build an organization that is very niche in payments capabilities. Um, we are exclusively focused on IT services around payment ecosystem. Um, we, have, we have always said that um, we are going to go uh, inch wide and mile deep within the payments uh, category of IT services. Um, we have actually lived up to our expectation of um, um, our tagline, which is uh, we believe uh, we, be we believe we can do it, and therefore we make it happen. Um, it's very pleasing when a large customer set come and talk to you when they have their biggest IT services challenge around payments, be it in the portfolio migration or conversions or building a new fintech switch or um, launching a new product. Um, so we have become a go-to company for a number of our customers within the payment space, and that's always uh, pleasing. Thank you for this recognition, really much appreciated. Um, when actually one is building an organization, personal awards and accolades were not on top of your mind. Um, you want to build an organization to make a difference to customers and to employees and the whole ecosystem. So nevertheless, it's, a, it's, it's, it's great to be recognized. And this award is also unique in the sense that it has come through a pro process of uh, independent jury selection than a nomination. Um, so it, it feels good uh, to be recognized as ATRA and also as part of the wider Synecron uh, fraternity. The next in line is the category called Asia One Person of the Year 2020 to 2021. And the title was given to Amit Gaur, CEO of Artificial Intelligence Technologies Limited, trading as EasyPay. EasyPay is one of the top most fintech apps in Africa, which simplifies the process of money transfer and online bill payments. The app promotes financial inclusion by providing services like payments, loans, insurance, credit and microfinance. After completing his studies from India and the UK, Mr. Gamut Gore started a fulfilling career in the banking and telecom sector. An astute businessman and keen problem solver, Amit Gore had a foresight to see this kind of opportunity arising in a developing country where internet was available. Since I am here in Ghana for last uh, so many years, the major challenge was the remittances from diaspora to home country and bill payments. That was the main motivation, the pain point for this. Uh, we started in Ghana now, uh, in, back in uh, 2020, we have started in Francophone eight countries. Sierra Leone, we just started last two months. 
Zambia, Liberia and other countries, we are keep on growing. Customer first, uh, that is the main value. Trust, because we are trusted partners with all the other brands here. And the third is the strength and resolute that we are going to make it borderless across Africa. The awards we have won, the best fintech app uh, of 2020, uh, 2020, and then recently we won the Ghana Business Standard Awards, and also the best innovative CEO award, and so on. But the main, main motive over here is that our is people first, and our employees first, and then we make sure that we groom them to make a mark on the industry. The next category is Asia One Global Leader of the Year 2020 to 2021. And the honor goes to Swapnal Agarwal, CEO and Managing Partner at Nitya Capital. Houston-based Nitya Capital provides real estate opportunities that aim to generate income streams and preserve wealth. This unique platform links investors directly to opportunities that they acquire and manage without additional fees. Swapnil Agarwal, founder and managing partner of Nitya Capital, is responsible for strategic planning, investment decisions, and overseeing all aspects of the company's operations, financing activities, and investor relations. He has over 15 years of financial and investment experience with over 12 years of experience in real estate globally. Swapnil began his career in energy investment banking at Simmons & Company before joining Forum Partners, an international real estate private equity firm with over $5 billion in assets, where he focused on originating, structuring and executing real estate investments in the Asia-Pacific region. I grew up in, under very unique circumstances. Uh, you know, having grown up in a small city in India and then moving to pretty rough part of town in Houston in America, I realized how much amenities and services were lacking in the real estate industry. So I decided to pursue uh, real estate finance because not only I could make investors good returns, but I could also impact people's lives and improve and build communities uh, for major population of America. And that's what really motivated me to get in this business. You know. Top three uh, rules and values that we follow. Number one, integrity. Number two, transparency. And number three, excellence. These are the three values that we pride ourselves in. And th this is the uh, prime uh, reason how we function in our day-to-day -day lives at work. Excellence comes when we find properties, operate, make great returns for investors. Uh, transparency. And in everything we do, we are transparent about it. And number three, and the most important one is integrity. Each member of our company is of highest integrity and we all work towards the goals for our investors and our second fiduciary and our civic duties to our tenants. So we're trying to build communities while generating great returns for our investors. I think my biggest achievement as a leader has been that I have been able to produce and give birth to new leaders in, in respective departments and divisions of ours who have gone on and do uh, are going to carry on this legacy that we have built here. Uh, so enabling other leaders is something that I'm very proud of. I built a company that now employs close to a thousand people, producing employment, servicing communities, uh, building communities, taking care of our tenants, and generating uh, some of the highest returns in the real estate industry. That's really something that I'm really proud of. Let's move right on now with the next category. India's Greatest Brands 2020 to 2021 and World's Greatest Leaders 2020 to 2021. The recipient of the award is Pratik Sharma, CEO, AS Agri and Aqua LLP, speaks on behalf of Dr. Prashant Said, Chairman of AS Agri and Aqua LLP. Dr. Prashant Zaid, Chairman of AS Agri and Aqua LLP, completed his engineering in electronics and telecommunications from the University of Mathwada, India in 1999. Over the years, he has worked tirelessly to build a world-class enterprise in the agricultural industry. Experience in implementing large media projects across various industry segments, Dr. Prashant Zaid is known for his skills such as diagonal thinking, creative marketing, critical business analysis and team building. He works as a scale-up specialist and an eco-thought leader for his company. 
Under his guidance, the team of AS Agri and Aqua LLP has created a globally renowned company in the fields of agriculture and aquaculture. Starting the company from scratch, Dr. Prashant Zaid developed AS Agri and Aqua LLP with hard work and dedication. We are a company working in the area of soil-based vertical farming. This is the most pioneering technology across the world, a patent tech technology by us where we create a multifold yield for a different level of crops. Our baseline crop is turmeric. We take a production of one a in one acre of about 100 acres yield, which is grossly high in an economic value that it creates for the farmer. Our company essentially is in an excess startup mode. We are three years old. This company was started by my chairman, Dr. Prashant Govindrao Zade, a technocrat and engineer who had a passion and uh, calling for agriculture. He wanted to improve the trust of the farmers which were facing and they don't have any economic value that they can generate. Our farmers today in India are always fighting out with the nature. We created a polyhouse structure within which we placed an enormous amount of steel to create a soil-based vertical farming. This has been the pioneering effort of Dr. Prashant Govindrao Zade in creating a system, a business model, a revolutionary uh, agricultural setup where we save 95% water, 99% land, and 90% manpower, thereby creating multifold yields. Really a pioneering technology. The next recipient in the category of Women Empowerment Principles Award 2020 to 2021 at WGBL is. Saghind Malhotra, Chief Executive Officer of SkyStem LLC. SkyStem LLC is a leading provider of month-end close and reconciliation software, and its founder and CEO, Saghind Malhotra, is the visionary behind the product and the user experience. A CPA, CIA, an experienced auditor and process consultant, Saghind designed ART for accountants. She has successfully established a thriving business and is recognized as a leader in the fintech industry. She was named the World's Business Outlook's Fintech CEO of the Year, USA 2021, and SkyStem was recognized as 2021 Impact Company of the Year Award by .com magazine. Saghan started her career in public accounting and has worked in Fortune 100 companies such as Marriott and Freddie Mac. She has been an inspirational speaker for Fast Track, a Kaufman Foundation program, and a judge for NY Business Plan Competition Awards. Coming from a family of hard workers and problem solvers, it was always in her to face challenges head on. Her pursuit to equalize the gender imbalance in the finance and tech industry has resulted in her advocating for minority women in the workplace and promoting leadership and growth from within. SkySim is the creator of art, a month in close and reconciliation solution. We have recently been awarded the world's greatest brands of 2021 and women's empowerment principle by Asia One. And we are so happy with that. Uh, we've had a special interest in women leadership and growth and continue to focus on that within SkyStem and even externally. Uh, we are a woman owned and woman led company and we are so very proud of that. My journey was not typical in building SkyStem. I did not aspire or dream to be an entrepreneur. It just fell in my lap. Uh, the idea um, was inspired from a consulting engagement I had where it was evident that this month and close process was filled with manual functions such as manual signatures, lots of Excel spreadsheets, paper binders, and there just had to be a better way. So I ventured out to create art and um, it is definitely a better way. We have achieved a lot of milestones over the course of time, but one of my favorite and special milestones has been to be able to deliver to our customers exactly what they want. Uh, we had a goal of achieving 30% of our product bill to be reflective our, of our customers' needs and it is today. So we feel really good about that, that we're able to give our customers what they want. The next in line is the category called Asia One Global Youth Icon of the Year, Asia ME Africa 2020 to 2021. And the title was given to the young and dynamic. Ronak Chiripal, CEO, Nandan Terry Private Limited. Ronak Chirupal, CEO of Nandan Terry, coming from family-owned business conglomerate, 
the Chupal Group, is one of the youngest achievers in the Indian business fraternity. Inspired by his family experience in the textile industry, gaining knowledge and experience from his family of running successful textile units, he decided to chart his own path and risked into new vertical of Terry Tiles. Thus began the journey of Nandan Terry Limited in 2016. Equipping Nandan Terry with the most advanced weaving machines and latest technology, he created strong impression of quality and customer service in minds of overseas and domestic customers. In a very short span of time, Nandan Terry has become a key player in the Terry Tile industry. Its products have found space on shelves of reputable retailers across the world. And Renac has delivered top quality tiles to who's who of global tile trade. Renac Terry is a part of Chiri Pal Group of Companies and that is where we set up the tower plant in 2017. So machines are all state of the art machines. We thought we are not the first movers. So we had the advantage, we knew what machines are doing well in the industry and uh, that's why we uh, selected all the latest technology which were available in the market. Then the next challenge was to hire a team and fortunately we went off to hire the best team in the industry. Like we, we have people who have been experienced for more than 25 years in the same industry. So I have learned a lot from my team, I have learned a lot from uh, the people I have, I have in my team, you know, they, we, I keep traveling with them. So I still remember the first trip I made. I had no idea about what towel is, what how the costing works, and I traveled with my marketing head, and I learned everything uh, while I was, you know, going to meet the customer. And the process is going on. It's not a the process never ends. So I'm still learning about towels, but it has been a good journey, and we've grown steadily since 2017. So last year we probably crossed around 70 million dollars of exports, which is a benchmark figure for our company. So, uh, talking about the strength of our company, you know, our strength basically lies in our ideology. Our ideology is, uh, you know, very customer-centric. We want to be as flexible as possible for our customers. The second strength probably would be our product development team. So, we've got two product development teams. One is based out of the corporate office, which basically, you know, designs the type of towels, sees and witnesses whatever is going on in the world, tries to adapt to the fashion world and into the home textile world and uh, you know based on these different trends they make different towels and that has been a core strength the other second developed uh, team sits in the factory their job is to actually just uh, replicate whatever the ideas the corporate uh, PD team gives and uh, implement them into the towel and then the towel is made and sent to the marketing team and the PD team for their approval and then we send it to our customers so this is one one of our major strengths as I said, you know, we want to be pretty flexible and we have actually practiced the ideology of customer flexibility and customer centric approach uh, since day one. And because of that, I am proud to say that, you know, we have not lost a single customer. We, our ideology, our uh, idea is very clear that whenever we reach a point where, you know, we have more customers than we can cater, we just add more rooms. We don't want to say no to any of our customers and that is how we want to grow. We have used the same idea to grow our dining business. Same idea to grow our packaging business, and that is what we want to implement in our travel business. These are the companies and individuals that are redefining business and leadership and businesses across Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Asia One and the Greatest Brands and Leaders 2020 to 2021 Asia, Middle East, and Africa wish them continued success. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.